Hello, hello. I'm used to having you on the other side. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> it's, uh, yes. A little camera dance to kick things yeah. off. Good afternoon, everyone. It is Tuesday, 1 p.m. As the, this is a reminder, it's 1 p.m. in case you forgot. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Karen. Hi, Joseph. Thank you for being here. 19 degrees, uh, Michigan. That is. Uh, Hello, Jen. Hello, everybody. Hello, Anne. Hello, Anne. So we are back. Oh, oh we are uh, angry. <laughs> Somebody is angry. I'm so sorry uh, that our smiles make you angry. We try to be very positive here on Cookie Lunch Break. Um, Hello, Margarita. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Oklahoma. Hi, Katie. Welcome, everybody. So Han is going to kick it off. There was a request last. Did they request during or after the live stream? The request for that cookie. It was, I think, the very last comment or one of the one of the last comments um, that I saw. And so are you going to reveal? I'm wondering, guys, is anyone watching from my page? I can oh, see at the top there, 15 people are watching from your Okay, picture. excellent. All right. So actually last week, if you remember, oh, let me bring up the camera. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. Hi, let me know how it goes, Connie. Maybe you can even send me a picture on Instagram. I'd love to see when you guys share uh, all your stuff. It's so inspiring. So little camera dance. Two, 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 two. Okay, there. All right, so last week, or was it last week? It was. Yeah, so I did these Santas, and this is a cupcake. And uh, I was talking about doing a tree, and then I decided not to do it. And then uh, you guys, or somebody suggested that I should do the tree. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be using the same cutter. And this is a standard cupcake cutter. I think it's a Wilton shape. It's very universal. Like you can use this for pretty much anything. And it also ships really well, okay? So I'm going to be using, um, um, this is um, like a brownish color to decorate the bottom first. So I'm making um, basically a, a kind of like a flower pot. You use this when you did the, um, the baskets of apples. Yes, I don't know why like, I've been on a cupcake kit cupcake kick lately. It's um, your candy corn? I don't know if it's my candy corn, but it is a it is a like it's like we have thousand I have I don't know how many cutters you have, but I have probably thousand cut I have probably thousand cutters. And um I just sorted them again and uh, it's all organized. And I'm always like, oh I have this, this is about thousand I think. I'm always like, oh, this is great. I can, oh, I forgot I have this. And then yet I will always reach for the, the, the you know, the, the, ever, the, the evergreens, you know, like some of them are, I forgot I have. I, I, yeah, so, but it's always fun, you know, to find new cutters. All right, so that's the first step. Then the, you have to like press, and then second step, this is crusted or almost dry. So we're going to do the white part. So that's the top. So I'm going to do, um, oh. um, I would try adding like like teaspoon of milk. That's unusual, unusual because that dough is pretty pretty um, um, wet usually, unless you add a little too much flour. But I would uh, try a little bit of milk, and it should it should help. Hello, Victoria. So now I'm using white. And this is also about 15 second, second uh, consistency realizing. It basically means that when you thin your realizing with water and then you pull it up, pull up icing from the bowl with the spatula or a spoon and you let it fall back into the bowl, it will kind of become blended with the rest of the icing in about 15 seconds. Or you can make a line in the icing and that line will disappear in about 15 seconds. 
So is everybody ready for the festivities that will be, it'll be here, you know, in a flash Christmas. Yes, but I also wonder if anyone who is watching is celebrating St. Nicholas Day, which was just recently actually, St. Nicholas Day um, on, a, on the 5th of December. I mean, countries can have probably different different dates, but on the 5th of December, we would uh, uh, clean our boots and we would put them by the door and um, we would um, then in the morning, I mean, the Saint Nicholas would be going at, the, at night with the devil, because if you were not a good kid, you would get coal <laughs> in your boots. Coal and a wooden, um, like to beat you, <laughs> to actually like give you some. Oh, my. That's a little bit. Uh... <laughs> yes, but I, when I was a kid, I never got the, the wooden thing, but uh, I got the coal <laughs> along with them. You would get candies and um, treats, usually, um, you know, things like that. So now I'm going to create another layer here of the top. Like the Thank you, part. Joseph. Thank you, Joseph. So you don't have, I mean, it's a, it's a lovely tradition. Yes. Well, and, the, I think that, you know, in North America, it's gotten a little bit um, over commercialized to a degree, you know, it's about, yeah. you know, it's nice to um, stick with like the older traditions. No, I loved it as a kid. It was really fun. And the kids like it also. No, I mean, it's like, um, it's like a pre-sent, you know, like, like pre-sent, uh, <laughs> pre yes. Oh, so the bottom, calendar kind. Yes. So the bottom, oh no, we have, uh, so the bottom I decided to decorate. Now I don't have it here on me, but you know, the baker's twine. I love baker's twine and I love wrapping gifts in it. So I decided, I know this is probably not something that you would see anywhere, but but I decided to create the baker's twine. So to do that, I'm just using um, white realizing and I'm just going to pipe lines, oops, across. As if you were to like wrap the bottom. Okay. Oh, here, here, Han, I have a question. Tell us, what you guys asked Santa for Christmas. <laughs> What's your number one that you want to get for Christmas? Doesn't Germany have a Christmas devil? Well, I guess it's the, well, like I said, it's a Saint Nicholas and he goes with the devil. If you were a good person, you will get just the treats from the Saint, Saint, Saint Nicholas. But if you were not, you will get coal and... So what is it that you really want from Santa this year? What I want, my husband keeps on asking me. I didn't give him very many ideas this year. I have to say, um, I don't know that I want a thing. I'd really like life to, you know, it'll never go back to the way it was realistically, but I'd like that we could just move forward with where we're at you know like now we're still like not the my daughter doesn't go to school and stuff so i just like to be able to move forward in the direction we're going and like establish a new normal it's not normal to be locked in your house for two years you know yes my husband is home from now well, you wish you victoria wishes for her husband to be home from deployment well, well i hope he does can yeah, he, 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 is that a possibility Let's hope he can and will. Congrats on the website, Joseph. Orders from a new orders for my new cookie business. Wow, that's great. I mean, that would be on, awesome. the, on the cookie business. Okay, so now I'm going to create the um, basket leaf. A uh, basket leaf. Oh, um, baker's twine. You know, they come in different colors, but uh, most commonly you will see. You will see them red. It's like a striped red and white. Thread. Oh, you're gonna color all that string? Yes. Okay. <laughs> this cookie is a money maker. <laughs> well, this is just. <laughs> yes, it is. I suppose. Yes, Sally. You told me you got your cricket. That's great. 
You're a stencil making machine now. I mean, it's not that bad. That's good. You, you Heather amassed a <laughs> Christmas list throughout the year. She puts it in her Amazon wish list. That's very smart. Oh, that's nice. I don't really wish for anything. Like, I really, I, I think I'm with you. I just, I don't, like, if I need something, I'll just, I don't, I, I personally don't like, like, I myself, I'd rather give surprises or treat people or, you know. Hey, I, I don't know. mind a gift once in a while. I do not mind that. But this year, I can't say that anything's coming to mind. I know what, like, I want to spend some time. Yeah, I know what I want, you know, and you know what I want. Just um, be with, you know, having cheerful Christmas. That's what I want. Yes. Some laughs and that's all. I'm not looking for much. Well, this Christmas, considering how Christmas was last year, it would be hard to be worse. I guess it's possible, but. Right. Color flare pump bottle. I have to Google that. I do not know what, what is color that? flare. So this is. So you see, that wasn't too bad. I mean, no, it wasn't too bad. Have a hundred. No, thank you. Come on, don't be so judgmental. We're just saying you're going to be nicer to me. I never said I was going to be nicer to you. When did I say that? <laughs> oh, color flare pump bottle. What is that? I'm not really, it's not coming up. Thank you, Karen. Somebody appreciates my, uh, <laughs> my baker's twine. All right, I see it. To make the tree, I mean, this is very simple. I'm using brown little icing here, if I can get it out of the bag. That's a pretty place. affordable uh, gift there, uh, Mary Lynn. That, somebody should get that. <laughs> a bigger craft room. Well, fingers crossed. Maybe you can take Ooh. over a section of part of the house that's not being utilized. I wish Mar would sell her mitten yarn template. That's in the group, but I guess I could put it in the coffee if you'd like. Karen's loving your cookie. I, I, I found it. I did find it. It's by Sugar Art. It's like a bottle that has like a, like a dome of rubber. So when you squeeze it, it makes wind and it helps you blow your disco dust. In the world of COVID now, you can't, well, before you shouldn't either, but um, you, you shouldn't blow on your <laughs> No, I mean, I do use the, this bottle, you know? Here, Debbie wants a five pound box of money. Now that could be five quarters. pound box of money. Now that could be quarters and very you fast. You what you wish for because not uh, all the like be specific. Maybe U.S. currency or euro because if you some money it does it's not worth much. So if you get five pounds, of that's great, Olga. I get surprises too sometimes with um with the uh, AliExpress. It comes fast. I have a story about money. And wait, years ago, I worked at a casino and uh, it was before the time of like now with the cards, everything's on loaded on a card, but before we had actual like change and they would deliver the, the change for the day with a pallet and put it in underneath for our cash. And one day, a huge like thud. So the, the money had literally like went through the floor. It was so heavy. Oh, really? It was so heavy. Holy moly. Uh, well, I do believe it. I mean, um, I had to, we had some friends and they, um, they had a piggy bank out of, they made a piggy bank out of a, um, glass, but like a giant glass, you know, the water bottles that you get delivered. Like it was like that size, like I don't know how many liters, 50, I don't know how many, 50 liters it is or something, but it was glass. So I filled it up and then 
they went to cash it. I'm like, how on earth? Like, did you, like, you, it seems like you need a forklift to pick that up. Well, now they have these uh, stations at the store. You bring your money, it counts it for you. It takes a fee. Yes. But to bring it there, I mean, they had a couple thousands there. Or several thousands, I think. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it adds up. Well, we yeah. all grew up collecting change now. I guess it's not as common people collecting their you know their pocket change because we we don't have it because we're using the plastic all the time yes here linda yes it is a basic uh, royal icing it's royal icing she has it on her blog let me pop up her link here this is han's blog you'll find all her recipes there Yes, thank you, Mark. Very cute. This is reminding me, it's not, but kind of uh, the, my snowflake with the branches. You know the one I'm talking about? Oh, yes. It's the same technique. So ideally, you want to actually pipe the needles from the branch outward so you can then taper it. Kind of like so it's not so bulky at the end you know and to yeah. do that you have to decrease the pressure and then just slowly pull away you know like i'm piping piping and then decrease the pressure and pull away so linda if ever you're on patreon you can't find something please write me so that i can direct you and um i'm write write me so i remember because i'm notoriously forgetful it's not like my brain just literally stuff just flies out of it as fast as it goes in and i'll uh, i'll send it to you so now you can stop there or you can add another kind of layer of needles do i stop do i continue more needles yes um, I, I think yes, but um, do you have to wait for, for them to not, or is it fine? Well, no, this is fine because by the time <laughs> done, so more needles and then it's pretty much like we'll just um, add a few more details, like one more detail and that's it. So you can just pipe more needles. You could actually use to make it a bit more um, interesting. You could use two shades of this oh, green. Yes, that would be nice. Um, I make a lot of my stencils. Han gets them in a variety of places. And you have some killer zebra. You have them. I have killer zebra. I have stencil. I have, uh, I think I do have maybe some cookie counters, but mostly I have uh, stencil. And I also get them actually, I would get them at Michael's. When mm -hmm. I had 50% coupon, I would get some of the stencils at Michael's. And they tend to be pretty sturdy. I, yeah. say. I got some Art Deco stencils from Michael's. Karen is saying this would be cute for a cactus pot, like a pot for... Um, yes, I mean, like anything, like I'm telling you, cupcake, it's a new candy corn. It's the new candy corn. How how could you do that to the candy corn, just push it aside? Okay. Perfect for adding gifts. Calm under. down there, okay? <laughs> <laughs> calm, calm it. <laughs> Yeah, how can you push it aside? I'm so sorry. Linda's loving your cookie. She likes the details. Yes, I'm notoriously known for these tiny little details, but I love it, you know. And you don't have to make hundred of these. Like you could make a couple and then fill it with um, do something different. But that wasn't. Oh, I need to fill these. Yeah, Heather, I have also that. I also yeah. have this condition. What's the condition? Black hole in your brain. Oh, yes. Don't we all? Like today, I went up to get an apron. I got up to the house. Like, I, I'm, this is the lower floor. I get up to the house and. Um, you don't know why you went? I leave, go downstairs because I'm like, well, I need to go downstairs. I, and then downstairs, like, oh, I, I think I went up for the apron. Like, Mm -hmm. We have a saying, who doesn't have it here, that he has it in a wax. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, like you have to go so many times. I, have, I have actually been looking in my, like it's happened that I'm in my own phone looking at the pictures, wondering who took the pictures on my own phone. And then I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I actually 
it was a picture of my husband and I look and I'm actually in the reflection. So I'm the one that took the picture and I can't even remember. <laughs> well, things happen, you know? Oh, and then at the top, oh, I don't have it here with me, but I was going to add a yellow star, but I think like this kind of yellow star, you know? A little sprinkle. A little sprinkle, but um, I, I forgot to put it out. So now this is uh, just uh, red royal icing here. And I'm just going to make um, little dots. Little dots. This, oh, okay. um, because it's like already pretty flat, I think a sprinkle, like a pearl, would maybe fall off, eh? Do you think? Yes. I You're think better so. with that. Now, to make it a bit more dramatic, this is, and I'm, I'm going to hold this with both my hands because I don't want this to fall. This is red jewel dust. It's a food grade edible edible dust. Uh, it's from it's confectionaryarts.com. So I'm just going to, and it's red, but you, you don't have to, if you don't have red, it's fine. Just using red because I like the little shimmer of red in there. And I'm adding it mostly on the red dust. Those are supposed to be ornaments or even berries if you, I mean, if you want to have berries on there, okay? And you could, I mean, if you want, this is totally optional. You could add, um, you know, I love uh, when um, when um, Baker's Twine, I'm going to add one more line here. And then I'm going to try to make a loop. And I like when there are two more, two more, you know, like you do two and then then you can you need to let this dry which will take maybe 20 30 minutes because it's just such a thin line and then do the um the red the little lines little lines to finish that off very pretty so that's it so and it's going to go with my santa here very cute so yeah, you could actually, what you could do to make it even more Christmassy, you could make small gifts and add them on the, on the bottom there of your, of your tree if you want, you know? Infinite possibilities. Yes. So that's it. Awesome hand. Very, very cute. Thank you. It's all yours, darling. All right, so I'm working on a Christmas tree as well. We did not um, uh, plan this, but... There's my tree. So let's, uh, I did a little pre because, uh, you know, stuff doesn't have time to dry during the live. Where's my video? All right, here it is. So when you're flooding a big cookie, this is a big cookie. I'll show the cutter in a second. But if you outline the whole thing and then try to go around, it can occur, depending on your climate, if your icing dries really quickly, that by the time you get all the way around, it's already kind of dry. So if you go this way in rows, well, you're more likely to have it be able to self-level because you see it's only connecting to that one row of icing at the at the you know where the 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 points kind of narrow there so that's kind of like a way to fill a larger cookie you do it in in like sections like that so that you can have it self-level because by the time you get around a big cookie like that you'll already have crusting occurring sometimes. And then I let it dry. And then I just kind of like, you can see here, I just kind of spackled, like sprayed some white and some silver just to give it a little bit of like, give it a like a look of like maybe a little pencil type, you know, like a little bit of shine. And again, because it's such a, a large cookie, it's kind of a fast way. And so today we're decorating with fun and decorations. So I have, when I buy my fondant decorations, I've always got my cookie brain. So I'm buying fondant molds that are the size to fit cookies. Cookies are much smaller than a cake. It's a completely different format. So you have to look for molds that are sized for that. So I make them and I'll take a little dot of icing and glue them on a piece of uh, mylar so that when I airbrush them, that they don't fly everywhere and I'm able to color them. Like you see, I went lighter and darker. So you don't have to glue them, but when you're airbrushing such small thing like that, it's really not like they fly everywhere. 
and you can color the fondant, but personally, I prefer to do it this way. I don't have little clumps of leftover red, leftover green, leftover whatever color. I Everything is made in white. I can cut, let's say I was to make, I had time to make 500 white flowers. Well, I can paint them for my project. You can have them ready to go. They dry, you put them away and you paint them for your project. Obviously like a leaf is a leaf, but let's say you were doing flowers that you would maybe use on baby shower stuff. Sometimes it's blue, sometimes it's pink. It's just, you know, an option and then here after i paint oh here i is the um, oh are these the minis i should have gotten my i don't have a mini so this is the wafer paper we've used it the last few lives and i'm just adding a little dot of icing and gluing a little pearl to the middle of this snowflake i'll show you the punch in a second and then those leaves, I'm going to, that's the next thing here. I'm just doing a little dot and dunking it in red and to make it look like berries. And so I've made all these little fondant decorations that I'm going to use to decorate this tree. Now, fondant uh, elements do take time, but if you're, you struggle with piping, this is kind of a way to get really like, um, fancy decorations, you know, and you can make them at, like you can start now, you let them dry. And like I say, you can paint them and you'll have them here. Let me zoom in and you can have them to put on your, you see, I put the glitter on the little uh, leaves, just, you know, a different way to decorate. And you have this big tree. You can, um, you can have like a decorating party with your friends that maybe aren't decorators. And, you know, it's kind of like easier. You just give them a little, like a little tray of the fun and decorations and then they can, you know, just glue them on. And it's just a different, you know, your friends have different um, crafting capabilities. <laughs> I want to say politically correct, you know, maybe they're not so. This is so cute. A lot of like, it's like 10 times uh, your battery, something is showing up. Oh. It's not, I have it on, I didn't put it, give me two seconds, my battery, my plug battery. I yeah, took my we, camera. Okay, so we have a request for a cookie. Joseph is asking us to make Olaf from Frozen. Oh, yes. Yes, so we'll see. Olaf from Frozen. I had made Olaf for a tutorial on my YouTube channel years ago. You are back. Yes, I, I, um, I had my battery in because I took pictures and usually I'm, I'm plugged with electricity. So this is the little um, punch. So you can see that you can make these tiny little snowflakes and it makes, you can, I actually did two layers and then you can just punch them out and then you can use that on your cookies. I had planned on using it on the tree, but you can barely see it. Oh, I actually love it. I actually, I was going to say it looks quite nice. Even when you say you can barely say it, you can still see, but it's, it's, it has that winter feel. I, well, I can do a couple. I do like it a lot. I know it's not like the contrast because of the splatter, but it gives it like a, like a wintry feel for me anyway. I like the splatter. I thought it looked almost like um, Christmas lights, you know, like, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that are lit, lit up. So I just, you don't need a lot of icing to glue uh, a wafer paper. So I've just got it on there, a little dot, and then I'm just positioning. And it's easier for me to pick up my little snowflakes because I've got that pearl. Oh, I need right. to grab. You see? You yeah, can yeah. just pop the dogs. Hello, everyone who is joining us now. You can, I finished making my project, but Marlon is now showing her awesome idea for Christmas. And you can rewatch the replay after. As always, it's stored in a, play, in a playlist on YouTube and Facebook. So um, today, let's share what we did earlier today, Han. So earlier today, guys, we filmed and it's going to, we filmed a, uh, um, year in year in your review for you and it will it will air on december 31st on new year's eve and new year's eve 
And yes, it was like, it was so much fun because we, both of us, we forgot about certain projects that we did, right? Yes. Like, oh, I did that. And it, um, so I hope you will watch it and maybe you can tell us what you would like to see next year. And also which project was your favorite. All right, so now this is um, done. And now I'm coming in with some uh, a thicker icing and a star tip. Now this is a PME. PME's numbers are not like Wilton. They're completely different. Like you'll have uh, um, the Ateco is the same numbers. Even um, what's his name? Uh, Cake Boss has the same numbers. Yes. So this is a five and normally five would be round, but this is a star tip. Oh, okay. So to start with the PME. So I'm, I'm adding some. PME, PME are, I believe they are. Can you freeze uh, cookies with the wafer paper? I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it. It's very water soluble. And so if you have condensation, chances are you're going to mess it up. So now I'm doing a swirl here. I'm working with the, the shape of the cutter. And here I'm just doing a swirl following the shape and then another smaller one. And then here I'm going the other way like that and then a final one. So you see it's kind of like C's that are going into each other. And then on this side, I'm mimicking to the other side. Beautiful. Now Amber Sweet Ends, so she will be here. Amber will be back on December 17th. She's taking some time off. She's working on a different project right now, but she will be back on December 17th if you want to join them. And so in the center here, I'm adding a gold ribbon, one of the pieces that I made earlier. And you want to attach that while that gold is uh, wet so that you can squish it. And I'm doing the same thing now on this row here. Now, Julie, Marlin used the dot of icing to apply her wafer paper. Very cute. Everybody's loving it. Hello, Karen to Alaska. Debbie says, very nice. Everybody's enjoying it. It's beautiful. Are you planning, um, just to speculate, are you planning on painting this with gold? I will, but I don't think I will be able to today because, mm -hmm. because it's... Um, Yes, it won't be dry. Yes, but I, I would match it to the ribbon. You see? Yes, it's beautiful. The star tip is really, um, when you do these skis, it's very fast to look kind of fancy, you know? Yes. Karen just purchased her, the airbrush and she is excited to use it. Yay! It's awesome. It's always fun to get a new gadget and, and uh, trying it for the first time. Um, it's fantastic. Enjoy. This is a quite nice uh, star tip. It's not like it's very nice. I, it really like it comes out just different. It's hard for me to explain, but it just does. It's very nice. And then here for the star at the top of the tree, I'm doing basically it, it's hearts I'm doing. Yes. So it's like, mm -hmm. like each point I'm kind of like focused there. If I had flood, I don't, but I would kind of fill it, I think, but I don't have it. So we're just going to leave that. And then I've got my green icing here and I'm just adding a little touch of um, of the green so that if it oozes out, it doesn't show so, so much. And I'm- Holy, the holy leaves. That's going to be one festive tree. I love the snowflakes. I know you didn't want to add them, but I think they add so much to it. Like it's beautiful, it's so beautiful. I wanted to do four. I don't know if they're going to fit. I wanted to do four. Kelly is asking, this is a really good question. Do you plan your design on paper or do you go straight from, <clears throat> excuse me, from mine to cookie? 
Um, usually, uh, it kind of depends on the project. Like something like this that doesn't require really like drawing, I would just do it in my head. But if I'm actually like having to draw a, a character, a face, then mm -hmm. I, I'll draw it. Because I, or if I'm like doing a shape cutter that you know needs the thing to fit, you know, sometimes you need things to fit a certain way, then I will. This one here, I'm getting tight. I, I, I imagine the cookie may be bigger than it is. I got a lot of stuff going on, but I made all these decorations today. I was very busy making all these. I'm gonna glue them on them. It's gonna be uh, suffering from, it's over decoratus, I think they, the joke is, like less is more, but not today. It's Christmas. Load it up. Load it up. <laughs> well, I like that they are, you know, even though it's you're putting all, all of them on there, I like that they are, you know, they are just repeat. It's you're repeating the same. Yes. That's what makes it calm. I don't know if I'm making myself. It's somewhat. Works. You know what I mean? Like it's uh, because when you're repeating the same thing, it's not chaos. I feel like it's still calm. I don't know if this one's too big here. Let me try with these little roses. Everybody's loving it. Everybody's loving it. So the roses I painted in two tones. And that's the other thing when you work in uh, fondant, like if you were to color your fondant, well, then it's kind of like a little bit like flat. But if you paint like airbrush like that, well, you can come in and kind of do like shading and give it a little bit more of, um, you know, a little bit more interest. Yes, we don't we always realize it's more, but doesn't apply to Christmas trees. Yes. So Olga, that special episode, we are going to air it on New Year's Eve, 31st of December, and uh, it will be at our usual time, I believe, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Here, let me do that. Yes, yeah, we're recording it because we also have families and we want to take some time to kind of rejuvenate and just recharge. So... Yes. Thank you, Katie. Oh, yeah. So that's it. So it's just, you, you can see how if you make all your decorations and you have all your lady friends, you know, some men might like to do this too, and you have it all there and it's just, you just glue that stuff down. Oh, you know what? Talking about dreams, that's what I want. I want our men to decorate with us. <laughs> Like, hey, here is the digital house, dear. I'm like, you know, you want to see the creative side using the yes. <laughs> I know, I know my husband's creative side, it doesn't exist. <laughs> he's really a math, he's a math nerd. Probably so, he can uh, draw an equation or something on. <laughs> I had, um, oh, maybe I'll. Oh, did you make a little dub? I did. I had made a little dove, but I didn't think to put them here. Let me just put a little blob. Maybe on the top. Can you just see what? Okay, put it in the, in the middle, and then if you have another one, oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I like it in the middle. That's you see? I was sad my mold didn't have two facing each other, you know? But anyway, so yeah, so it's just a different kind of option. And then once it's dry, you can come in and paint the gold. I know it's like really heavy, but. Well, you could. This could be a. Like imagine having like a bunch of like basic cookies and then this sits on top of it. It just makes everything and then, you, uh, you know, you can take it. I don't know if I would break. I would. I would be so rude. I would come and I would break off the store. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. But it's just an option for, you know, an activity. And I think that they're just as pretty too to give. You know what would be nice? If you had a hole in a... In, well, I don't know if this would hold as an ornament, but if the hall was down, it would actually be a really nice uh, hanging ornament. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, Linda. Hi, Judy. Oh. Oh, it's early, a birthday. Early early. Happy birthday, Olga. Yeah, agree. it's beautiful. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. So keep your eyes open for... Um, 
the cookie sized molds. AliExpress actually has affordable ones. The Holly and Bow Scrolls has the accent on as an accent cookie. Yes, yes, yes. You could add small, like make a little smaller versions of them. I really love this bow. This is one of my favorite. Very nice, very nice. Does it come out nice? Like it's mm -hmm. sometimes the, the um, uh, what do you call it? The, yeah, the release. No, the what do you call it on the bow? The the tails. The tail. Sometimes the tails uh, will not release. No, this is a good one. This is a good one, and I like the mold. Actually, has three bow versions, and this one with the tails, and then it has one with this looks like a little bow tie, and then the other one is like a double bow, like it's two loops. I have some bows. I have to look what I have. But this is nice. Very nice. Well, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. So thanks so much for joining us. We're a bit you know, early. Yeah, we are a little early today, but... Where did I get these molds? Well, I've collected my molds over the years in a variety of places. Recently, though, like, they're very... They can be very expensive, the silicone molds. Yes. So if you look on AliExpress, you will find actually wonderful quality and very affordable. Look for, and they actually, a lot of the stores will list them, mini silicone molds. So you'll find bow molds with like a whole like six to 12 different shaped bows on it. And uh, they have like a whole set of like Christmas molds. You'll find for Easter, you'll find for almost every occasion. And uh, actually, these ones here, I made them myself. This one here, I don't know if you can see it. But it's like a little rose. And I actually had made that with a button. I had like uh, antique buttons. And so you, and, and the other thing, which I didn't end up using, but there's the little ornaments, the royal icing transfer ornaments. You see, it's a good size too for this tree. Oh, where's my cutter? I wanted to show you guys. This cutter I got years ago at Michael's. And yes, it has, I don't have that cutter. I have a lot of trees. I don't have, I would have loved that cutter. It has these, it had this ugly uh, insert, which I cut out. It was so ugly. Oh, did it have the insert? Yeah, they were just, it was ugly. Oh, so. maybe I have the cutter then. Is it, is it like where the inserts like round things? Yeah, it was really ugly. Oh, maybe I have it. Can I just take a minute? I want to see if I have it. So anyway, so yeah. So if you have, oh, you have that one? Yeah, it's a beautiful cutter. I did the Hungarian, um, I don't know if you guys saw, it's black with flowers. I did it on that. I did the mermaid tree on this one. It's a gift size. It's a great gift size. If you're going to do elaborate designs to give to people, it's a great shape for that. And here, if you want to see, last before if I prototype, well, I traced the cutter on a piece of scrap paper and I actually piped on the paper before I did it on the cookie to see how it would line up. And you can see it all like, I knew how many swirls that I could do. So then I knew how I was going to kind of fit it on the cookie. We've lost Pan. I don't know where she went. Yeah, I'm here. I'm like obsessed now with this cutter. That I think that I might have actually two of those. Two. Yes, but um, maybe you should do your looking later. Yes, I know. I'm, 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 yes, I know. But I wanted to like show if it was the same cutter to see that so they would see the inside. Yes, I will do my looking uh, later, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be back on live on Friday. But um, Friday we are doing, I'm doing actually New Year's. Yes, we're doing New Year's on Friday. So that'll yes. be fun. So that should be fun. So thanks for joining us, guys. And Thank you, everyone. we'll see you on uh, Friday. Yes. Bye. See you Friday. See you Friday, everyone. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.